Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, uh, the next talk will focus on a specific model uh, that we call it uh, the stimulated deep neural networks uh, for speech recognition. Uh, we'll start with motivation, and we, I will talk about what is stimulated DNN and what, how can we do adaptation on this kind of models and follow this experiment and then the conclusion. So I believe almost all, almost all the people in this room focus on the neural network models uh, in this era. And uh, the DNN is really a good model which uses good performance in a variety of uh, tasks. But there are some problems. First, because DNN is, is usually used as a black box uh, that we put in the input features and then we got the, uh, the, get the uh, prediction. But the internal behavior of the neurons, the DNN parameters, uh, are hard to analyze. So if we want to do something more, for example, if we want to better regularize the behavior of the DNN, and if we want to do something uh, something like a post modification, the, speak, uh, the speaker adaptation, then this kind of task will be very, it will be challenging. So the, uh, the the aim of stimulated neural network is that we want to we hope to improve the interpolability of DNN, and in which we encourage the neurons outputs in different regions of the neural network to be related, and. Uh, this kind of model uh, can improve the regularization in the DNA training. And uh, uh, with this, this kind of interpretable information, we can propose uh, no or better uh, adaptation schemes. So the first thing is, what is a stimulated DNA? The stimulated DNA <coughs> is that we, during the training phase, we introduce uh, some magic regularization term. And this kind of regularization term can help us to better interpret the behavior, DNN behavior. So in order to define this uh, uh, regularization term, uh, we first need to define uh, something called uh, the activation grade. Uh, from in this example is uh, if we have a hidden layer uh, consists of uh, consists of 16 hidden nodes, we, we, because it's a square number, then we can uh, re reorganize it into a 4 four by 4 uh, grid. And we can project it into the two-dimensional space. And we can assign a position for each hidden node uh, in, in this space. And meanwhile, at the same time, uh, we can use one of the dimension reduction methods to project the phone, the phonons, or the graphons into the same space, into, into the same two-dimensional space. So that in the same space, we have the positions for the hidden nodes and also for the phones or, phone, or graphons. So the, relevant, the stimulated relevant centralization term is the KL divergence uh, between <laughs> the normalized uh, activation distribution H bar. Uh, which is defined at the bottom of this, this page, and that's uh, and, and, uh, prior distribution of a particular form denoted, denoted by G. So G is a two-dimensional uh, single Gaussian density surface, which uh, for, for each for each form we, we have this kind of we have a, we have a prior for for that form, and. Uh, uh, and the H here, uh, we introduced the term beta. Uh, if you're interested in the model, uh, you can you can have a look at our paper in the, in, the, in this year's interstage because uh, in the introduce the introduce of uh, of beta is to avoid a uh, arbitrary scaling issue for the outgoing uh, DNA nodes. So the care of divergence. Uh, so this kind of regularization regularization uh, tries to minimize. Uh, the mismatch during the training process that uh, given the uh, frame, we obtain the hidden output of that frame on a particular hidden layer. We host, uh, we, we host the, 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 hidden, uh, the hidden activation which is, is, is similar to that of the surface given on a, on a particular form. Then, the result of this stimulated training is that, uh, as we can see in this page, for an unstimulated system, the default DNN, uh, be, 
because the uh, hidden nodes are arbitrarily ordered, so we cannot get uh, an explicit explanation of what is what is what the, what the hidden nodes means. But for the stimulant thing, uh, this, for example, this uh, this instance is given on a frame belonging to an uh, belonging to, to the phone uh, AY, and therefore and so the activation outputs around the AY location is higher than the, than the other parts. So, so in this way, uh, we, can, uh, an, we can better analyze, oh, this, this, uh, the, the DNN uh, is, is trying to model uh, AY form. So here we have some video for it. Sorry. This is the uh, hidden outputs uh, uh, of a uh, default unstimulated DNNs uh, on one hidden layer. So there is no uh, direct insight for what is going on around this, in this uh, black box. But for the stimulated system, in which we introduce the, we introduce, we hope that the uh, uh, the, the frame belonging to different to different forms will correspond to the different regions of this can, of this activation grid. So uh, the DN, DN's behaviors can be better can be better interpreted in in this in this kind of model. <coughs> and since it is it gives a very smooth surface for the uh, the, for the hidden, hidden, hidden outputs. So we can propose some novel adaptation schemes based uh, on this kind of characteristics of the stimulated DNA. So uh, in this paper, uh, in this work, we uh, focus on the linear hidden units contributing the hook adaptation schemes. Uh, this kind of uh, adaptation method has, has been successfully used in a variety of tasks that gives good performance. Um, and in this model, uh, we introduce a scaling factor for each uh, hidden unit on each uh, hidden layer. Uh, but it still involves a large number of parameters in it. And it is not suitable for some rapid adaptation uh, scenarios, like we, if we have only 10 or 12 seconds data, and we cannot, um, we, we cannot robustly uh, re-estimate it. To the, the spinning factor uh, with, with, with this kind of limited amount of data. So we hope to use the, the property of, this, of the stimulus DNN to, uh, to regularize the L-hook adaptation, adaptation model. That is, we introduce another adaptation, uh, adaptation uh, regularization term on the adaptation criter criterion uh, besides the default one. So, because the, as we can see in the previous video, that the spatial neighbors in the uh, stimulated DNS activation uh, is, uh, are likely to perform similarly. So, our, uh, our adaptation regularization term uh, introduced the, introduce the neighbors, na na introduce neighbors to better smooth the uh, the the, activ the activation of a of a particular uh, neuron of the neurons and that is it contains two parts. First is the about is a distance decay. The SI and SJ is the position uh, or is the position of the uh, uh, of of two nodes in the in the grid. If if a node is less far away from the current node, then we hope that. And the, the impact of it is, is, is smaller, but if they are, they are quite near, then we hope that uh, the impact will, 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 will be la will larger. And uh, the IIJ measures the distance, uh, measures the difference of two, of two uh, activation outputs. So, so in this, as, in, as we can see in this figure, that for example for node 7, we hope all the uh, its neighbors in this uh, grid will help to smooth the, uh, the activation adaptation of that of that on um, the node seven. So in this way, we can improve the robustness 
on rapid scenarios, on rapid adaptation scenarios. So our experiment is given on two tasks. The first is a US broadcast news task. The second is the Javanese conversational uh, telephone task from the Babel product. And on the broadcast news uh, test uh, uh, experiment, uh, we use the 140 for uh, our training data, and both the uh, test set Devil, or Devil 3 and Evil 3 are used. And for the adaptation, we test, we evaluate the utterance level and supervised adaptation. And the DNN uh, configuration is a 5 kilo layer with 1024 nodes and 1024 square number, so we can form a 22. Uh, uh, it's a, it's a uh, 32 by 32 grid. And uh, we use the TSCE method to generate phone position for phone positions in, the, in that grid. So here is an uh, investigation of the impact of different uh, stimulated, <coughs> stimulating penalty, the eta ST. So as we can see, uh, with a higher, in, in the blue line, with a higher uh, penalty, then the stimulator carry out divergence uh, de decrease. And besides, this kind of regularization also help to better model the, uh, uh, help, help better model the acoustic data. That on um, 0.05, the, the, red, the red line, uh, the, the cross achieves the best final cross entropy compared with the, uh, the other systems. So, and on the decoding performance, we observed the uh, consistent gains, and the system, the system penalized on 0.05 gives the best performance, decreasing the uh, word error rate from 12.7 to 11.9. And for the adaptation scheme for the smoothing techniques we proposed, uh, it is the best performance, it achieves the best performance and even outperform the uh, generic, generic standard uh, hook model slightly on both data sets. And here, the third line uh, is an experiment that we suppose that there is a stimulated pattern on the unstimulated DNNs, and we uh, question whether the neighbor are, of the, whether the arbitrary neighbor will help to uh, better model the adapt, uh, better smooth the adaptation. Uh, but the answer is no. So this also demonstrates that the stimulated things uh, contribute to the, to, to the adaptation schemes. And on this is the performance on MP, and both the ISI, uh, typical independent, uh, stimulated MP system outperforms the default MP1, and also the best system is achieved by the regularized L hook system, uh, regularized L hook method. So the second data set is the Javanese experiment. Uh, we use the full language pack of Javanese, uh, of the uh, 60, 60 hour Javanese uh, task, uh, Javanese data set. And uh, uh, we use the multilingual bottleneck feature, which is, a, which is um, the default settings for Babel, Babel evaluation from uh, 13 Babel languages. And we generate the graphons positions while, while well, TSN is the same, the same method we used that we used in the uh, broadcast news test, and uh, this is the C performance uh, on different uh, uh, on different stimulated penalty, and the best system is achieved on the system penalized with 0 0.15, and here is the performance given on the uh, sequential MP MP criterion. And uh, as we can see, the stimulated system also outperform uh, the unstimulated MP hybrid system on Javanese. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, no, new model we investigated in the previous uh, in the in, in the in the previous years, and uh, uh, we investigate the stimulated DNA regularization and adaptation approach associated with it. And uh, uh, the DNS regularization uh, use a better performance compared with the unstimulated one, both on the frame level and the sequential criterion. 
And besides, in lower average situation, as in the broadcast news, we, we evaluate our uh, novel regularized uh, hook method and in, in, rapid, in rapid situation, and it outperformed the standard uh, hook schemes. Okay, thank you. Any questions?